Yes. Um, yes, ma'am. Yes, I think it's a lot of hogwash. You do. Tell me. <laughs> Just what I said. That's what they said. That's what they said about the Lord, you know, when he came down. Oh, come, come on, you're not going to equate the Lord with this hoo hoo stuff. <laughs> uh, we chanted, huh? Uh, has there ever been a religion? Now, Gee. has there ever been a religion that we didn't laugh at, make fun of, ridicule? Long. Well, think about it. Remember the shakers in England? You know, they used to shake. They threw him in jail. Threw him in jail. The thing I like so. to say is, don't knock what you haven't tried. Once you've tried a healing and it's worked, then suddenly, you know, you begin to understand what we're doing. Yvonne and Gavin Frost are witches, and they've been joined by Professor Walter Martin. We've asked uh, Professor Martin to be here. You are director of Christian Research Institute, uh, which is, uh, which is, <laughs> <laughs> what does the institute do? We specialize in getting material together on the cults and the occult, and one of those happens to be witchcraft, which is why I'm here. Yeah, how do you feel about all this, Professor? Well, uh, I listened to this, and uh, there was a very direct attack upon Christianity and also upon the person of Jesus Christ, and that has been historically the case in the conflict between witchcraft and Christianity. And I would like to say, as long as it's spontaneous and we get our say in this area, I don't object to Gavin and his wife practicing their religion. But I think that when they try and somehow or other give the impression that this is some bona fide thing that's going to go along with other religions or like another denomination or something like that, from its beginning, witchcraft has been occultic. It has always been associated with Satan. And whether a person, no, whether, no, no, let no. me finish, let me finish. No, whether I will a, not abide that. Well, I have go to finish. Ahead now. Okay. Go ahead, I've finish. made my statement. It has historically been connected with Satan. That does not mean that a person in witchcraft automatically is demon possessed or anything like that it simply means that a person can be honest and sincere and dedicated and absolutely wrong and the judeo-christian religion is opposed vigorously to witchcraft as a form of satanism well, i think they're upset about your reference to satan because they see satan as a christian invention mm -hmm. satan is the antichrist and they don't believe in christ so they certainly they say cannot believe in satan well you have to go back a little bit further than that yeah. Satanism goes back to the book of Job in the, in the Bible, which is a very, very old yeah. book, which antedates all of the things they're talking about. No, no it doesn't. No, it does Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You haven't the done your homework, paintings Dr. in Spain well, are way before. <laughs> okay. uh, Hang on a minute. Yes, I think I have done my homework. That's why I'm here. Sure. <laughs> yeah, but what has to be understood is that witchcraft isn't just what you're seeing here. Witchcraft is seances, tarot cards, communications with the dead, all of the things which God forbid in the Old Testament. No, I disagree. Can I finish? Yeah, no. Well, I'll okay. let you talk. Let me talk. All right. Don't interrupt me. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to interrupt you. I just want to be courteous. All right. The fact I'll is, to be the fact is that witchcraft is not just we over a candle and uh, the altar and the bell and the book and all the rest of the things associated with it. Actually, it is a very ancient form of religion, which is polytheistic, believing in many gods, was opposed by the law, the prophets, Moses, the apostles, the Lord Jesus Christ. What we are getting here is a modern revival of an old poison with a new label. And it's spiritually, it's spiritually dangerous. I will not abide it. Well, that's the Christian church's position. You well, can disagree. Oh, right. Yes. Now, that, I think, sums it up. But Why would you be so Bible, upset at his negative review of your... Well, We've heard because it of the Bible. Well, but he's heard your condemnation of Christianity yeah. well, before. I mean, let's take First Corinthians. Isn't it a shame, really, that we're into this argument and I bickering and fight? It. I hate well, why hate it? I mean, allow the man to make his point. It's obviously you don't. We're not demanding that then you don't agree with him. Her? No, no, no. It's not so much that as it is sort of a. You know, the witches themselves are not getting along with each other. We've got boundaries. Well, you don't have to be a witch to heal. Um, there's a whole lot of Christian charismatic healers who are doing great work. Whoa, Sorry. stop right there. There is no connection between charismatic Christians who employ God the Holy Spirit and witches who employ all kinds of gods and goddesses. Now, there's just no equation whatsoever. What kind of curses do you put on other people? What kind of curses? Yeah. We don't deal in, in that kind of negativity. We really don't. Um, I'm sorry. One of our basic beliefs is, and it harm none, do what you will. And that none includes yourself and includes the psyche of other people. You, you know, know what's uh, fascinating? 
Uh, this is the, you've made this available to us, Religious Requirements and Practices. This is a handbook for chaplains, which is published by the Department of the Army. I don't know, I don't know if it's a current, but, and uh, it's to assist chaplains in the event of uh, tragedy, death uh, of, of one of the troops. And if the troop happens to be a witch, we are ready to take care of them in the service. Uh, the American Council of Witches, here's an explanation of what witchery is, what a wicca is, what a coven is, mm -hmm. and uh, what kind of burial is preferred. So... Uh, well, the same is true virtually for any well, religious Yes, it is. Yeah. But I, the point is, uh, I think but it's admirable, really, that the United States Army would make it its business to uh, ensure that those who are sincerely devoted to witchery be uh, appropriately accommodated at a moment of uh, crisis. I think we're tax deductible too, Phil. You, know. you are. Literally, you are. I don't think anybody, I think anybody wants to restrict, as an American, the right of a person to be a witch or practice any other religion they want. Right. What we object to, at least in Christianity and Judaism, is any attempt to make it look as if there's any agreement or that this has not its ground in satanic power. Because Anton LaVey of the First Church of Satan, I think he was on yeah. your program one time. Yeah, long time. He said, and I agree with him, he said, really, there's only witchcraft. He said black and white is a misnomer. There's only two poles of power. Either it is God or it is the devil. God has nothing to do with witchcraft. Well, we yeah. totally disagree and we don't oh, yes. get but Give witch. them the opportunity to disagree. Yeah. Yeah. Is the caller there? Yes, I'm the caller. Yes, go ahead. I thoroughly uh, believe that these people are of the devil, of Satan. Really? I believe in Jesus Christ and God. If they had once mentioned yeah. that Jesus Christ heals. I why don't we him. just, why, uh, do, do they trouble you? Oh, I think it's a disgrace. I well, what's going right. to happen? What will happen? Outside of your baby not being fed uh, while you're talking about it. <laughs> the baby's <laughs> Yeah, uh, are you praying for these folks? Uh, I pray for everyone. I see. Everyone. Yeah. But you really feel that they are emissaries of the devil. The devil has sent them. Is that it? I believe that. Yeah. Satan. Okay. I appreciate your call. Okay. I thank you.